When people think and talk about self-esteem, they might have no idea what it's meant by that. They might think that uh, it's about uh, taking yourself out for ice cream or buying yourself a very expensive present or um, hugging yourself and kissing yourself and, uh, God forbid, uh, touching yourself. And um, I learned the hard way that's not what is meant by it. Did you guys ever hear of the term agape love? A-G-A-P-E, agape, agape love. Um, eros is romantic and sexual love. And uh, love, for your, love for your fellow man, like, like personal love, like for your brother or for your family, that's uh, phylos, uh, P-H-I-L-O-S. And um, agape is love for God. And if you don't believe in God, think of where, where did I come from? You know, religion must be replaced by philosophy if you're an atheist. I've been an atheist all my life, an agnostic. And um, really, religion is a belief system. What is meant by religion is a belief system. And I learned the hard way also that I have a right and a responsibility to choose what I would like to believe in. Um, even if I want to believe in something that's, uh, that I believe might be made up, um, even if I believe the Bible might be just written by humans that are trying to understand things. And, um, you know, where did we come from? There was a Garden of Eden, there was an Adam and Eve, and um, Eve ate the apple, and... And talked Adam into, you know, having some with her. Come on, let's uh, let's have it, Adam. And then God took them out of the uh, Garden of Eden. And um, Satan made Eve believe that um, if she ate the apple, she would get to know the greater things. She would see, open her eyes and see things. Well, she saw her shame. And... Um, they had, from that point on, they had to wear, uh, wear things on their bodies to cover themselves up. Um, God does not mean for us to see the things that are not His will to see. So they got disciplined and they got kicked out of the Garden of Eden. That's what I understand anyway. And um, I choose to believe... Um, what that story stands for today what that story stands for is um, humility and conscience and limits healthy shame is really what limits are you know we can't be all do all and see all all the time we have to be contained no not punished not tortured not humiliated but we need to see what the boundaries are in the world. And agape love does not love danger, does not love the devil, but loves any everybody that, that God created because agape loves God. Agape loves the very purpose. Um, agape loves the very thing that caused the world to turn and caused people to be born. And caused um, living beings to uh, come into being and I love that today and if I came into being in God's image which I choose to believe you know if only as a fable um, if I choose to believe that I, I can choose to believe in agape again I can love God because God created me because God created the world God created all of us and we all have a choice to uh, do his will we all have a choice to love Love each other as God loves us, to follow God's example. Dear Lord, I pray that I follow this till the end of the day. And if I am not perfect, help me to repent when it's appropriate. And repent does not mean crawling on the ground. Repent means standing on the ground at my right size and my right level in relation to my fellows. In your name, amen.